My friend Max and I, who we went to engineering school together at the University of Portland, we decided that we were going to design, 3D model, and 3D print a ski vice in order to save $100 because when we looked online on how much it costs, it was really expensive and we were able to get that price down to $10. Now this is gonna be part of a new series called Max's Garage where we build random crap in Max's garage because he has like four 3D printers and a whole workbench with all kinds of stuff that we can build stuff with. And I feel like I haven't been building enough in my day-to-day -day life, so we decided we we're going to start building together. So in this video, we're gonna first go over how we went about designing the actual ski vise itself on paper, and then we're gonna go into 3D modeling, which we ended up using Fusion 360 in order to 3D model this ski vise, and then talk about how to 3D print in our 3D printing process, and then finally show you exactly how it turned out and the mistakes we made. So next was design, and for design we had three primary components. The first was research. We wanted to research what was already out there and look at ski vices that already existed. Because if there's something you can buy, why not just buy it? It's a lot of work to reinvent the wheel, so don't do it unless it's worth it. In this case, like Liz said, uh, they were really expensive and we thought we could do better by 3D printing. So the next part was figuring out what our design requirements would be. So. In this case, we're going to 3D print, so we wanted the design to be 3D printable and have minimal material, uh, be relatively strong, uh, enough to clamp onto the table, and it had to work on my workbench with the skis that we wanted to wax. So the 3D modeling portion of this project was actually very simple because we have the design, we know what it looks like, now all we have to do is put it into Fusion 360. Now, good thing Max actually does this for a living. Now, I touched a little bit of 3D modeling in college, but it was a long time ago, so he has expertise that I do not, so he ended up 3D modeling this in Fusion 360 to get um, the foundation of the model. Now, there were two main things we wanted to focus on when we were making the model. One was making sure we didn't have too much material, so we ended up putting a giant hole in the middle of the ski vise because that has extra material and it just is a waste to print that. Plus, we took like a stress analysis class in college and they used to just drill holes in the middle of everything, so we figured it was a good way to go. Now, the second thing was making sure that there was enough material in order to clamp down the ski vise. So we wanted to make sure that that had enough material so we could clamp it down and it didn't move or crack or break. Once we had a 3D model to print, all we had to do was import it into the 3D slicer and get the settings correct. In this case, we had two blocks that we wanted to print and the print time was looking like it was going to be anywhere between six and 15 hours. I know that's a really big range, but we were experimenting with different sizes that we wanted to do. And since I have multiple 3D printers, we can take advantage of printing things in parallel. So we were able to print two blocks in about seven hours with everything that we wanted. So basically we had this idea of making a ski vise. Now when we went and looked online, it was about $100 to $200 for a ski vise. Now we got that cost all the way down to $10 by using our engineering skills and printing them ourselves, which is really cool because we actually saved money, which is what we wanted to do in order to make the ski vise. A lesson learned was that we went a little bit too skim on the material, and so we printed one that was too short. It didn't actually lift up the skis itself, so we had to read do it and add more material in order to get that higher in order to have the skis fit on top of the ski vices. If you're interested in hearing more about my experience with engineering school and mechanical engineering and all that, I will link my video here. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.